talking videos because they're a little bit boring I feel like to watch sometimes but we're extremely stressed out right now so it feels like a feeling and thought dump video might be helpful right now <laughs> something like that you know what it's being we're moving to Alaska <laughs> we both look so tired <laughs> How many times have you been to Alaska? Once. Once? Yeah. Or twice? Yeah, I think it's twice, but that was banned. Oh, for sure. Once. It was for Thanksgiving and that delicious buffet. Mm -hmm. Hmm, I thought it went twice. Yeah, once. Just once in that dry cabin. Hmm. Well, we loved it. Absolutely loved it. And I think we've mentioned that if we had the opportunity, we'd definitely move down and try to make it our home base. Yeah. And it's happening! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect time, too. So you guys can see the boxes and stuff. We're already packing. We've been packing for... Ever. Over a month now, just here and there, because, as you know, she is also pregnant. Got one week to go. Yeah, like a week and four days until our due date. Mm -hmm. And also one week and one day until the house has to be ready. Today is April 28th, Thursday. Our house has to be ready a week from tomorrow, so May 6th. So we have eight days to finish packing and getting the house ready. And so far we have the living room. Kind of done. Not crazy. We started a long time ago, but then we finally got COVID. You had, you had COVID once already, <sighs> and I managed to not do it somehow. But this time we both were down forever. And I'm still sick, and you're like back at a hundred percent already, huh? Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. So we're going slow. Oh, why were we moving out there? Your job. Why now? Why? during your pregnancy yeah. <laughs> and uh, after just adopting a Mustang yeah. and uh, picking up Alpin. Yes. So two horses. Two untrained horses to move uh, now. Uh, because I was offered a job and uh, one of the things that we said if we wanted to be in Alaska was to try to secure a job because it might be difficult it if be we didn't sure. have anything lined up. We didn't want to move up there and prepare, so a job was the first thing. And mm -hmm. you've been looking for jobs for a long time. Actually, you always just kept an eye out for them, but nothing really ever worked out or came up. And then suddenly one did, and it worked out. Yep, so we made the hard decision of saying, F it, let's do it, because <laughs> You know, the opportunity might, might never come again. Yeah. So here we are to our new adventure. After all that we have done here. Yeah. Which is a little depressing, but I think we would rather give it all up to be where we've always wanted to be and start anew. Yeah, it's worth it for the opportunity and for the new experience, new adventure together. Even though it'll be hard to leave this place after putting so much work into it. We can do it up there again. Mm -hmm. Since it's a salary job, I would have more time with this guy. I used to do a lot of overtime and stuff just to get a little extra money for 
projects and things but you basically work every weekend now not every weekend though it feels like it you never have free time <laughs> you're always working overtime and you make decent money doing that but like is it worth it when we you know it seems like it has the potential for you to be less stressed and have some actual free time to yourself which would be nice babe i have no free time to myself <laughs> but you know for, i mean <coughs> that ever <laughs> We're able to move up there now, even though we're like a week away from having a newborn because they were flexible and they wanted you for the role, so they're working around it and they're willing to give us some time to get up there after he's born. So maybe like six weeks ish. So that was helpful. Yeah, we have about two months or maybe three, depending on how we feel about it. Yeah. About driving up. But, you know, in the meantime, I'm working from home. And it's amazing. <laughs> it's the first time you've ever done that, huh? Oh, yeah. 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 First time you haven't been on the clock, like, <clears throat> up at 3 in the morning and at work on the clock by 5. Whole life, right? So currently we're researching options to move up there. Uh, what would be most cost effective and what would be easiest for us to do since we're going to now be moving with a newborn and... Uh, two dogs and three cats and two baby horses and possibly a saltwater fish tank maybe i haven't decided on that yet there is a ferry there's a ferry that runs from bellingham washington to the alaska coastline but they quoted us 12 grand for two vehicles and for two trailers so that's way out of the question <laughs> i mean we could but that's if there's space also. Oh yeah, and it's booked out until August at this point. And it's currently April. And we need to be up there probably like July-ish. So it looks like we're gonna be road tripping for like five days with all of our animals. <laughs> Doctor already approved it. They said road tripping with a newborn is totally fine. It's actually me. That would be the issue. We just have to stop every two hours. Apparently you can get blood clots after birth. So you have to be careful. So it's just going to be a slow trip, but that's cool. Like, we've never seen the Alcan Highway before. It'll be fun. Maybe. I think. We're excited. Right? Kind of. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely excitement, but, you know, with everything that's going on, uh, it's hard to not... A little stressful. ...feel stressed out about it. But I think once we get there and everything is said and done, We'd be happy. Agreed. We already rehomed. We found homes for the cow ladies to somebody who lives here on the island too. And it's really nice. They already made friends with them. And then we rehomed the, the big freshwater tank too because those Rhonda fish are so sensitive to everything. Five day road trip in a bucket would probably not turn out great. But everybody else is coming with us. Does it feel similar to, to the RV to you? Like how everything just happens all at once for some reason for us? Uh... Or like it's like always a it's like for some reason it just feels like it's always a struggle whenever we're maybe we do it to ourselves I don't know <laughs> <laughs> kind of yes and no you know I mean I have been actively trying to find jobs that are still within Boeing which is where I work so that took some time it just came out of the blue. You know, I wasn't mm -hmm. expecting to get the role, but I did, and it took them, man, almost three months just because of some mix up, mix up of the application, like the application and all that, trying to get me back in interviewing and all that stuff, yeah. and all that time wasted now. You're a week away from childbirth. <laughs> so, time crunch for sure. Yeah, definitely time crunch, but that's okay. <laughs> we can do it, no problem. Mm -hmm. Like when we built this house, we lived in the RV on our land for two years while we cleared it and then had the house built. And then the RV had no power and no water for a long time. Everything froze, we had no heat. It's just like one thing after another. 
We had three miscarriages while we were in the RV within that two year span. Like, it's just, for some reason, all of our projects, like, we, <laughs> it feels like it's a struggle a lot of the time, but it turned out well for us the first time, really well, and... It's always rewarding at the end of everything that... Yeah, we stick it out. Yeah. Keep checking at it. And I'm pretty confident that this will turn out the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Why did I agree to it? That's what you have on our note list. <laughs> uh, you know, truthfully, we both agreed that we wanted to be there. Um, I was kind of hesitant because of everything that was going on, you know? So, it I was just not seemed hesitant. like... <laughs> <laughs> just seemed like when an opportunity, like your dream goal, comes up, you get spited with all these obstacles that are you know like it makes you gives you the hardest choice you when you know that it's not the hardest choice because you want to you know we, we do want to go to Alaska oh it's still a hard choice but you know it, yeah it, like the baby and you know it's like oh you, you want this nice and, opportunity here have all this at once and fuck you <laughs> <laughs> here you go it's kind of like if you really want this here you go, you better work hard for it and like make it work. But here's all the issues. Like the universe is like handing you an opportunity but also fucking you at the same time. Yeah. Every time. Mm -hmm. But you know, that's, you gotta force through the struggles and the hardship to get the most out of your life and you know, get the best of what you want. Yeah. Fight for it. Yeah. Like, we're fighters. And we're totally not complaining about it either. <laughs> like, I would still take all of this in a heartbeat, even if, you know, we had the choice to do it over again. We'd def still do it. You know? Yeah. I mean, it was, you know, it, it was hard uh, building the house, buying the lot, clearing it, living in the RV. I always said that, uh, hey, we're never ever going to do that again. But <laughs> we already brought up the idea of, hey, maybe we should buy, like, another five ten acres over in Alaska and do it again and do it again <laughs> but well it's so nice when, it, when you start from scratch and it turns out like exactly how you want it like we have it here and now people are like wow your house and your property is so nice we're like thanks we fucking worked so hard for it to be like that it didn't just come like that thank you so much we love it too but it was a lot of work and a lot of stress and it took a long time but it was worth it in the end so even I guess even the idea of going through it all again in Alaska is still, I don't know, I guess I would still do it all over again if we needed to. Yeah, we're probably just going to try to look for a house that we really do love so we wouldn't have to. But if it really comes down to it and all our amenity, uh, amenities are not met, we would consider doing it all over again. Yeah, definitely. Agreed. Definitely. At least we kind of know what we're getting into this time, and we won't have like stress and meltdowns because we know what we're in for. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Although we'd be doing it with a toddler this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We don't have a drone to do any aerial footage, but <clears throat> we have ten acres of primarily cedar forest and it's like 80 year old trees and they're beautiful and we love them we handpicked our house layout here i mean we love it here but like we also talked about that we don't want to be attached to like places or material things and as long as we're working towards new goals and adventures together then it doesn't matter like where we're at plus the fact that this will be your first big move ever like your family and all your friends are here whereas for me, I'm already used to moving. My family started moving when I was like a junior in high school and then I haven't stopped since. And my family's already mobile, so it doesn't really, you know, it's not such a big deal to me, but this will be your first big move. You feel like you're fine with that, right? Yeah, I'm fine, you know. Friends will always be there, you know, if they're good friends. I mean, I, I, even living on the island, I barely see my friends or family much, because, you know, not not wanting to take the ferry out to the mainlands and all that stuff. Because the ferry is horrible. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, there's always social media, even though I don't have any. You do, though. Uh, but, you know, phone call away. 
people can come visit and experience the new experiences with us. Yeah, it's pretty 50-50 <clears throat> on that when you tell people or like if they'll come visit or not. People are either like, absolutely not, that sounds horrible, or they're like, amazing, sign me up, I've always wanted to go there. It's like really divided. It probably doesn't help the fact that the area we're moving to is like Fairbanks area. So we're basically almost in the Arctic Circle. So it's a pretty extreme climate, like I get it, but I feel like maybe I feel like maybe it might be a little bit harder on you than you're letting yourself like feel like it. Nah. But Nah. Already partially did it be moving here and That's true. Perfectly fine. That's true. <clears throat> We're still house shopping up there. The property is a lot different up there than it is in Washington. Here, like, we were able to buy 10 acres and then develop it how we wanted. Up there, it's, like, either one, two acre parcels or 150. Like, there's not really a whole lot in between. But I think that's because there's so much public land is that you don't you know, necessarily need to own a whole lot of land up there. Mm -hmm. So we're probably going to end up with less land up there than we had here, which is fine. And, uh, yeah, we just haven't found something that we like yet, but... We visited Fairbanks two years ago. For like a week. For like a week over Thanksgiving. So everything was shut down. Like a week and a half. So. Yeah. <clears throat> everything was shut down. Except for that delicious buffet we ate. Thanksgiving buffet. That's a, what was it? Like Pipes House. I don't know. I'll find it. It was really good. And it was a blizzard. Everything was snowed in. And we loved it. It was great. Stayed in a dry cabin. He's in our house. 10 out of 10. Sign me up. <laughs> it was fun. So that really solidified the idea that we would want to live in that area and that that would uh, be the place for us. So the horses go to a trainer this weekend because normally I would be doing that and Van's been doing really well working with him too but we just don't have time anymore and I can barely walk across the yard at this point so definitely no horse training right now. Um, so they're gonna go to a trainer this weekend hopefully get them ready to be trailered Cross country. We need to finish packing up the house. We need to have a baby. What else? <laughs> we gotta figure out how to get our stuff up there still. I think we're gonna trade in your car because your car is just gonna like nosedive into the snow up there and then stay there all year. We <laughs> need an SUV instead. Yeah. We have so much to do. We'll be down there within the next the next three or four months. Mm -hmm. We will be up there. We have a lot to do still. Yeah. But we, when we visited, the main things I wanted to do were to see a damn moose. We never did. Even though they're everywhere. And then see the aurora. And we missed that because it was so cloudy. And by this Christmas, maybe we'll be watching the aurora from our own backyard with our new toddler. Oh yeah. Yeah. Pretty exciting. Yep. So that's it. Uh... I guess you'll see us get busy and try to get as much done as we can before this guy comes out. And then we'd probably be stressing the fuck out after. Oh yeah, if we don't get it done first and he shows up, we're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go! Woo!
It's happening! <laughs> Something that we have thought about doing for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it gets so sad. <laughs> <laughs>